The practical purpose of tithe is to enable ministry. Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome into Sabbath School Study Group. My name is Chris Bailey, and this is part number two in our five-part series on the tithing contract. And we're trying to understand tithing from a biblical perspective. When we look here in the Word, we're discovering now that this system of tithing is actually something that allows what God wills to happen in the earth. When we think about, why should I give? Well, we give all the time. And a lot of times we give because it's compulsory. We pay our taxes because we don't want to go to jail or we pay our taxes because hopefully we see the value of giving back to our community so that others can serve and provide for us. That same idea or mindset should go over into giving or returning a tithe, knowing that these funds are going to fuel to enable someone else to do either what we don't have the opportunity to do or we're not even called to do. I use the word enable intentionally because money does not empower God's work. God empowers God's work. But while the gospel is free, ministry costs. The idea of being saved is something that Jesus has accomplished, but for us to do it in the context of the world that we live in, it requires giving of not just money, but of a lot of ourselves. But I'm going ahead. Let's look at this verse. Leviticus chapter 27, verse 30 says, And all the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, it is the Lord's. It's holy unto the Lord. The idea of ownership, remembering that even what I'm giving back, what I'm returning, it's his. I am returning. I'm not paying. And when I'm paying someone, I'm, I'm giving them something in exchange for a service. But when I'm returning tithe, I'm actually giving back to the one who gave it to me in the first place. I'm returning. So in returning this tithe, look at what Numbers 18 says. Numbers 18, verse 21 says, And behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth in Israel for an inheritance, for their service which they serve, even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. What word jumps out in that verse? Hopefully you see it. It's, it's the word service, the idea of serving. And whenever someone is serving, they are releasing. In fact, they are losing that which they have in order to provide for someone else. And what tithing does is that it fills that void. It, it fills in that gap from what someone has lost or given in service. It's for the service. Again, the money doesn't make it happen. It's by the power of God. It is the spirit of the Lord in us that does what we do. But in doing that in this earth and in this context, I don't look at this as a liability. In fact, it's a blessing. This allows us who may not be actively involved in the doing to support those who are doing. We are there to rally and to work, almost like networking together to participate in the process of doing God's work. One, one more verse to think about, and that's here in Numbers 18, 24. From what we read in verse 21, here it says, but the tithes of the children of Israel, which they offer as an heave offering unto the Lord, I have given to the Levites to inherit. Therefore, I said unto them among the children of Israel, they shall have no inheritance. We bring this verse into our consideration to understand the purpose of tithing, to recognize from those giving, but also so that those who are receiving can understand the purpose. The purpose is that this is to give and this is enough. This is to give because you have nothing else. What we're starting to see, unfortunately, within the realms of ministry is that there are people who are receiving tithes as an income, receiving tithes as a salary while doing something else at the same time. This verse makes it clear that just as someone is giving their tithe to support you fully, that ought to be your full support in order to justify you're receiving biblically of that tithe. We might call the opposite of that double dipping, getting tithe and getting an income. When God has said, if you've given yourself fully to me, this tithe is your full income because you have no other inheritance. This is what I've called you to do. I hope that these verses have given us some insight into the practical purpose of tithing. Yes, there, there are a lot of spiritual implications, but, but quite frankly, 
tithing pays the bills for those who otherwise would have to do something else to supply or to pay those bills. This is why we give, because our giving makes possible what otherwise would not happen.